Bless squad, what's going on with y'all, man? It's your boy, Blessed Applesauce, here to bless y'all with another video. This is gonna be just a random video. Um, today, I wanna talk about interest rates and I wanna talk about inflation because they're the big hot topics that are going on this month. We've had a record, a record, a 30 year record of the highest inflation of any month of October. Um, so a lot of people are talking about that because they're saying gas prices go up, they're saying uh, everything go up, food, energy costs, it's getting crazy out here and today i want to talk about why it's occurring and what you can do about it because we can't just talk about an issue we need to find solutions as well so the reason why it's happened over 2020 as y'all know the fed printed a lot of money they printed trillions of dollars everybody got a stimulus check everybody was getting stimmies that nice little 1200 dollars was sitting right but the problem is when you print a whole bunch of money and there's not a lot of supply the prices of things go up. So all we're doing is bidding up prices because we have extra money, but no extra stuff. There's an imbalance of more money, but less stuff. And that causes prices to rise. So what do I think is gonna come of this? I think it's gonna get a lot worse. We also passed a couple of uh, bills. We printed a trillion dollar bill that's coming out, the, uh, the infrastructure bill. So that's gonna be another trillion dollars that's gonna come. So this problem is just just going to get worse. But what can we do about this? We can start to purchase things that go up in value with inflation. So as we're buying, we want to buy the goods and services that are continuing to skyrocket. So things like oil, if you can get some oil stocks, that'd be a great opportunity uh, to get some oil stocks. I know last year oil was dirt cheap. I don't know why I didn't buy more oil. I got some oil stocks when they were like dirt cheap and everybody was sitting at home um, because nobody was going anywhere due to COVID. But I definitely should have got some more oil. But oil is a great place to get into some oil stocks, also gold stocks, also just, just stocks in general because they're assets that hold value that you're buying actual items that will increase in value as inflation continues to rise. On top of that, you can buy physical things. Real estate is a great option. A lot of people like to get into real estate because as inflation increases, as rents increase, prices of real estate will continue to rise. So those are the main things you wanna focus on things that are physical or you wanna focus on stocks and assets that continue to rise in value. Another trick you can do is actually take the opportunity of going the opposite direction is borrowing money. So as the dollar is losing its value, the value of the dollar is going to go down and so is the value of your debt. So if you borrow $10,000, let's say you go to a bank and borrow $10,000, by the end of the year, let's say we have, let's throw a hypothetical number out there, we have 10% inflation. The value of that $10,000 that you just borrowed is going to be less. So it's going to be easier to pay that $10,000 back. So what you can do, I don't recommend getting into like consumer debt. You don't want to do consumer debt because that's setting you back. Even if the, the money is easier to bring back, you're still taking a loss. You want to set it up so you're buying things on debt that will hold value or go up in value. So for me, you can take an example from me. Right now, I'm buying Lego sets. I'm, I have a credit card. I'm purchasing a whole bunch of Lego sets and buying them um, buying them as they appreciate in value. So as they appreciate in value, my debt, the value of the debt will go down over the next year because inflation um, has increased and made the debt, the value of the dollar less. So that will help me out in the long run because I'll be getting a better return on my investment um, and I'll be holding value um, in, in, the, in the asset that I'm holding, which in this case is gonna be Leo sets. So that's what you can do in these inflationary periods. Be watchful of that. Uh, just begin to hold assets. Uh, begin to get into good debt, debt that increases in value. And pay attention to inflation. If you can uh, take an extra job, if you can take a, um, a raise, because I know a lot of jobs are offering raises at this point. So try to take advantage of that. Negotiate it with your boss and be like, okay, you see your price of everything going up. Let's increase the uh, the price of these these goods so I can make a little bit more money here. So that's what you can do during this time. Focus on those things. But I really think it is going to get a lot worse. We'll see how it goes over the next few months. Um, it's really going to come down what what they plan to do in the future with the feds, what the president, the Congress does. 
Um, but looking at it, it seems like they are going to continue to pass more bills that are going to add more debt to the, the economy. And we are still having a supply issue where we're not able to get a lot of things uh, back in stock. As you see, Christmas is coming up. They're saying there's going to be shortages of things. And that's just easily just going to cause price increases. So we're going to see how it goes the next few months. Um, I'll definitely keep you all updated with another video uh, to see how this is going. It's going to be very interesting. It's going to be a very interesting next few uh, couple of months toward the end of Christmas. And even 2022 is going to be very cool uh, to see what happens. It's going to be scary for some, but it's going to be a lot of opportunity to be made um, for the people that know what they're doing. So that's what I want you all to take advantage of. Think of this as an opportunity. Um, whenever people are losing money, there's somebody making money out of this. So think positive about it. There's going to be money to be made. So that's going to wrap it up. It's been your boy. Blessed out. So I'll stay blessed. And we'll see y'all next time. I'm blessed to a mess. Just to see tomorrow is a blessed sun. Stay prayed up is the message. Everything about a nigga play. Hey, hey.